Hi, I'm Rob Grimm, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Canon R5 to tether wirelessly to Capture One. There's basically two ways to execute wireless tethering with the Canon R5, and that's with or without the WFT R10B grip. If you're working remotely on location, you can also connect to a 4G or 5G mobile hotspot. This is really going to give you a lot of flexibility when you're shooting on location and you want to get rid of cables. Now, obviously, I'm going to need a wireless network to connect to which I have in my studio. And for the best performance, I recommend that your router is connected via a network cable to the host computer that's running Capture One. It's gonna greatly improve the speed. Make sure to check out Capture One support pages for hardware recommendations in order to optimize the performance. All right, so we're gonna go over to the menu, the very top line we're gonna select, and that's Wi-Fi Bluetooth. And now we go to Remote Control EOS Utility. Now we're going to change Wi-Fi to enable. And then we add a device to connect to. Now I'm just going to search for a second. And we're going to select our network. And this takes a second, but we're going to input our password. Now we go to auto settings. And this is really important. Disable. And now we can start pairing the device. Now the Canon R5 is connected to the network, but we're not actually connected to Capture One yet. We need to do one more step. So go into Capture One and navigate to the camera tool. And here you're going to select the R5. Click on it, and then we're done. Now that we've connected the Canon R5 body only to the wireless network, let's go ahead and add the WFT R10B grip. That's going to greatly increase the performance of our wireless transfer is going to make a huge difference in the way we can shoot. So keep in mind, it's not necessary that you have the grip in order to shoot wireless tethering with a Canon R5, but the grip is going to give you additional speed and a much greater performance. So the setup with the grip is, is definitely different. The menus are different. We're going to go over here and we're going to go to page two in the Wi-Fi selection. So Wi-Fi two. Now we're going to go to WFT settings. Then we go to connection settings. And now we select a set. And here we have to create with wizard. Online. We're going to connect with the EOS utility. And now we're going to go to LAN type. And of course, we want wireless. Now it's new settings. And now it's going to be searching for the network. We're going to enter our password. Now I select auto settings. And again, disable. Now we're going to save to set one. And now I can select from a list. And I'm going to use mode EOS utility and we're going to connect. Now the Canon R5 is connected to the network. Now I can go ahead and take some shots and it gives me the ability to really kind of move around my set. I just want to shoot these flowers simply so I'm not shooting with a tripod or a camera stand. I just want to be very natural and very free. And here it's really nice to not be tethered with a wire. If you follow the steps that I've outlined here for you, you're going to be able to get up and running and shooting wireless tethering in no time at all.